everyone, it's Agatha, and I'm going to teach you how to be yourself for Halloween. Now, usually people dress up as other people for Halloween, but it's actually possible to just, you don't even have to buy a costume or anything, you can just be yourself. And the way you do this is you emphasize any unique characteristics you have and create a costume out of them. So these can be things people make fun of, things people compliment you on, or just any unique traits you have. So I'm going to start. Now a lot of, one thing people comment on a lot is that I have really hairy arms for a girl. And yeah, my hair is really dark and it shows a lot. Now if you want to bring out your hair, so you want to take some mascara and you put it on your arm. Ooh, this mascara is old, it doesn't work that well, but oh well. There it goes. Let's shake this up a little. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. And the left arm, actually no, my right arm, which is hard to do for obvious reasons. I am right-handed. Okay, so... Now that I have that mascara on and my arms look nice and dark and hairy and all that, another thing people comment on a lot is that I have pretty big dark circles. And if you want to make your dark circles look dark or darker, you just need to take some eyeshadow in any dark color. I'm going to use this nice brown and Put it on your eyes. Get you nice, that nice goalish look. So that's good. So, so far I have hairy arms and dark circles. Make sure they look nice and realistic. Okay, so another thing people comment on is that I have really curly hair. And to make my hair even bigger, I'm going to dry brush it and make it get all floofy. I think my hair looks nice and big now and next thing a lot of people comment on that I am Jewish and they have a problem with that and they also say I look like a boy and one great way to let people know that you're a Jewish boy is to wear a yarmulke or a kippah which is a traditional Jewish head covering for men so all you have to do is put it on your head like this and then you can take a bobby pin and just pin it in like that. So there I am. And another thing that I do a lot, a lot of people notice, is I wear hair bows. But instead of just one, wearing one or two hair bows, I am going to wear all my hair bows at once so that I am extra like myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, do. 
Okay, so now that I'm wearing lots of hair bows and I have my yarmulke and my dark circles and my big hair and my hairy arms, the next thing we're going to do is, okay, so a lot of people say I eat too much and since I'm Jewish and I eat too much, I'm going to take some nice Jewish bread challah and this is going to be my accessory for my costume. So yeah. All you have to do to finalize this costume is take out this nice big piece of challah and when you're at like a Halloween party or whatever, I can just bite into it like... So this is a great Halloween costume. And obviously you're not just like me, so you can't do all the same things I do. But just emphasize anything unique about yourself, anything cool and unique about you. And make that your costume. This is cinnamon swirl holla bread, it's really good. Oh yeah, and when people talk to you at the party, in my case, since I have a pretty high voice, I can emphasize this and talk even higher. If you have a low voice, you can do the opposite. But in my case, I can talk like this when people talk to me. I can say, hello, I have some delicious.